What are we doing here? Grab my ladder. What the hell's this ladder for? Because what we're about to talk about is way too epic to talk about on the ground. We uh, gotta get on the roof. That, for that. makes sense. Yeah. So naturally, we have to go to the roof to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Toss me a chair, my man. Well, this is easy. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. What? Success. Yep. Christian, let's go. Oh, well, hold on. I was you know, getting something. Oh, well, something else you should get. I think I already got what you're thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you read my you mind. You can sit in lawn chairs on the roof and talk business and not have a few beers to go along with Where's it. yours? Right here. Oh, okay, good. All right, let's get to it. Okay, this is pretty epic. This is pretty epic. Yeah, I this like is... I, I, I think we should be filming more videos on the roof. Yeah, this could be the regular spot. Yeah. Oh, I get the sound. Woo! It's way too early to be doing this. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, we are 21, by the way. It's encouraged. We're 21, we're 23. We're 23. All right, let's get to it. All right, what the fuck are we going to talk about that we had to come onto the roof to talk about? Oh, oh shit. Relax, fam. It's 11 a.m., but I had to drink a beer, even though I don't like beer. This is totally not us. We do not normally do this. I it's know. only because we're I'm... sitting in lawn chairs on the roof. We felt the need to do this. And I'm flexing. This is a flex. Yeah. All out, straight up. Yeah, because this is unlike us. This is yeah. not our usual behavior. So... What the fuck do we have to talk about that must be so damn epic that we had to come onto the roof of our house to discuss? So this isn't like strictly about publishing, but this also is not just a publishing channel or a Merch by Amazon thing. It is just a whole online business, entrepreneurship, lifestyle type channel where we talk about all that type of shit. So this falls perfectly into there. And yeah, this is actually something I do want to talk about. Yeah. It's super dope. Yeah. It, it blew my mind when I heard, it didn't blow my, it didn't blow my mind when I heard it, but I was like, that's really good. So I feel like I have to share this. So if you see the title of the video, it says the two or three. I'm not sure yet. Two or three keys to selling anything online. It's not bullshit. Like when I heard this, I was like, that's you're right. Yeah, when you think about it like this, it's like it's so true. I don't like the taste of beer. I like the way it makes but me I drink feel it. exactly. And no one will be friends with me if they know I don't drink beer. I know. You know. This was something that I heard in an interview on another YouTube channel. You may or may not have heard of him. I think you have. His name is Mike Vestile. Shout out Mike Vestile. Shout out to motherfucking Mike. Okay, so if anyone is curious about like who we look up to in the online business space and like what we're going for, Mike is definitely one of Mike them. Mike Vestile is one of our guys. Like yeah. we really look up to him and what he's doing. So we try to emulate a lot of everything he's got going on right now. Yeah. And actually, I'll just mention quickly, we're actually in business with him right now. We're working on something together with him, which is pretty fucking sick. But anyway, continue. Yeah, so though he uh, did an interview on his channel, he was interviewing someone else. His name was Gavin. Shout out Gavin. Shout out to Gavin. It's a really good interview. Link, link in the description. I really enjoyed the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, but one point that really stood out to me, something that he said in the interview, when he stated the two things that you need to sell anything online, or the only two things you need to be focusing on. And just when I heard, I was like, that's so right. Like, I feel like we're focusing on so much other bullshit that really is not helping to grow your business. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not it's helping true. you make more money. These are two things you have to focus on. That's definitely like a pit hole that people fall into. Like, using time on shit that isn't really gonna help their business. It's this small shit yeah. that is not gonna, they're not money moves. Like, yeah. you, I always talk about that. You gotta be making money moves. Someone can answer emails all day and like be working, but really not have made you, any progress. Exactly, you didn't grow your business. Yeah. So yeah, the two things that you have to be focusing on, let's start with part one. I'll say both and then we'll talk about each one. So all you have to do in any online business is to drive targeted traffic to a high converting page. Mm -hmm. That's it. Those are both things. That's it. Yeah. If you can, if you can master both of those, you're going to come together and make a yeah. shitload of money in sales. Like Although, it's that simple. There is this third aspect to it. Yeah. That you talked about. Yeah, like, he didn't mention in the video, but it's something that we I I'd like afterwards. to I'd like to add this because yeah. I think this is important too. Then on top of that, you need just a good product. Okay? Like yeah. you can have a lot of targeted traffic and a highly converting page, but if you've a shit product, that's not going to last very long. Mm -hmm. So the good product is the third thing you need. The majority of your business moves that should be making should be focused on improving one of these three things. One being getting traffic. Targeted traffic. Targeted high traffic. High quality traffic and a lot of it. Traffic to your product page, listing, whatever. And then creating a more highly converting 
page, listing, product, whatever. And then the third thing is having a high quality product. So let's apply this to publishing specifically. Yeah. So the first aspect is driving target traffic to your listing. That would mean people finding your books and finding your books, that's gonna come down to high demand keywords. So showing up for high demand keywords, that's targeted traffic. Yeah, so one, there needs to be high demand for the book that you're selling. And two, you have to show up and be visible for this keyword. Yeah, we gotta find a way to get that traffic to us and that's by ranking high for high demand keywords. I just held a raindrop. Yeah, that's okay. We'll keep it going until it starts pouring. Yeah, so it comes down to this organic search ranking, but then also ads. Hmm. Ads is another thing. So those are the two things you could work on in publishing to be working on that aspect of these three things. This is the targeted traffic side. Yeah, the targeted traffic side, like that's huge. That's huge. If you're missing any of these three aspects to your product, you're fucked or your product is fucked and you're not gonna make a lot of money with it. You need the traffic, you need to be able to convert that traffic into sales, and then you need a good product so they keep coming back. All right, so on to point two, which is having a high converting page, sales page, website, yeah. listing, whatever. Yeah, now in publishing, that all comes down to, yeah, like you said, having a good listing. That's a good cover, cover, a good title, a good description, uh, a good with, star rating with audiobooks the retail audio sample your yeah, retail huge, audio sample huge, is massive huge having a lot of reviews doesn't have to be a lot but you need some reviews more important is the average star rating of your reviews that's how you focus on that aspect of selling your products if you're wasting time on other things like the uh, like the pen name stuff you yeah know, ooh, what pen name should I choose yeah we made a video talking about like there is some thing to it yeah oh yeah i'm not talking about that but that was just an example of like there's so many minor details oh. that don't fucking matter oh. they don't fucking matter and the you, color of your spine on your paperback book I doesn't know. matter no you especially see it in facebook groups that's when i really see it yeah. so people are asking questions it's starting to rain now but you could tell by the questions that people are asking where they're really wasting time mm -hmm. Because people will ask like a pointless question and then they're going to wait till they get a response and they're not going to like move forward until they get an answer exactly. to the question oh, that stuck. doesn't even matter. I'm stuck on this part. The question doesn't even matter. Yeah. Okay, I think we have to go inside. Let's, we can give it a little bit more time. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you're not focusing on driving traffic or improving the conversion rate of your sales on your sales page or on your books, you're wasting time. Everything you're doing should be focusing on these two things. Yeah. And then the third part that, that we added to it is... The thing is Selling a high quality yeah. product. This all of this falls apart if you're selling shit, right? People will buy for the buy one time from you because no you matter get, how shit it is, because the listing can look amazing, but then the product can be complete, complete garbage. Those actually are not related at all, completely unrelated, right? And you could have this amazing book with a horrible listing hmm. that won't get sales, even though this is an amazing product. I think you totally can look at your business and be like, okay, I have this. I have this, but I don't have this. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I, I heard, when I watched his interview and I heard that, I was like, damn, like this is just, this shit is so true. Yeah, There's it's so real. Like I'm focusing on the wrong shit right yeah. now. Exactly. Break it down and think of it like this. So I, this is what I think most people's problem is. I think most people have two of the three. I think most have a pretty solid product. Mm -hmm. In this case, like a solid book mm -hmm. or a solid audio book. Right, That's so normally not the problem. Mm -hmm. And I think they normally have a solid listing as well. You know, like a, a solid cover, good this and that. So like you look but, at it like, okay. But I always think the biggest problem is they don't have the traffic mm -hmm. to their to their book. That's like, yeah, right. That's the hardest one to get them all. Yeah, get the and traffic. It, and right. that comes down to high demand keywords, high demand topics that people are searching. I feel like anyone can make a good product and anyone can like make a good, right, good sales copy, make a good cover. But driving traffic is the hardest part. It's now I'm just talking about online business in general. Yeah. When it comes to anything, the wind. Uh, I hope. I really hope this audio isn't complete shit. It yeah. might be. Yeah, targeted traffic is the hardest part of it all. And I also want to talk about. So we talked about how it relates to publishing. I also kind of want to talk about like how that applies to us mm -hmm. and our business right now. So mm -hmm. right, we're doing publishing, but then also we have a bigger business, which is the Mickelson Twins brand, brand as a whole business. And right now the focus is on the course and getting that sold. So and building the YouTube. Yeah. Well, that yeah, that's what I want to talk about. So. When I heard this, this, uh, these two or three keys that you need, um, and then I thought, how does this relate to us right now? Our problem is also getting the traffic. We, 
Well, for one, yeah. I but think so. But that's why YouTube is such a fucking big focus for us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where that targeted traffic comes from. Yeah. And that is the toughest one of them all. And that's why we're focusing on, focusing on that the most. Mm -hmm. Now, you can also break down the whole, just the YouTube videos into a business of itself. Like, mm -hmm. so we got the quality product, at least we think we do. At least people tell us that the content is solid. Relatively speaking to the publishing niche, we have like the better content than a lot. Like I've seen some channels out there. Like, I mean, let's just be real. Let's just be let's real. Be frank. Like, ours is better than a lot of them. And then we're able to get people to click on our videos and watch the video. So we're able to convert. Like, we got, we focus on thumbnails. Thumbnails and titles. Yeah. That's the conversion yeah. side part. Now, the hardest part is getting the traffic, getting people to our videos. Like, getting our videos in front of people. That is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. So what we really should be focusing on with our YouTube videos is how to get the most traffic. And I'm realizing this live on air. That live that's what, on air, live reaction. And I think how we do that is create, then, creating videos that people are searching. Like not just creating these like advanced videos that our subscribers want to see, unfortunately, but creating videos that people are searching and they're honestly not the most interesting videos. An example is like, nice. An example is like how to format your book. Like I really don't want to make that video, but honestly, looking at the numbers a lot of people are searching it and it would get a lot of traffic if and you, get us in front of a lot of new people yeah so if you guys ever see that video you're like oh this bullshit this video. fucking how to just know I, that that's why yeah we're doing it just to acquire new subscribers new followers mm -hmm. new traffic right and then on um, the third point which is a high quality product is just making high quality videos like that's what it is that's yeah. why people will watch you for the first time, even if your quality is shit, but mm -hmm. they're not going to come back. Yeah. You want those repeat customers and the repeat yep. viewers. So. Yeah. so should we all sum, sum this all up? So you need these three aspects of any product or any business that you're working in. I also want to say any action you make towards growing your business, ask yourself the question, am I doing anything that is helping these three One parts? One of these three. That's yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, analyze what you do and what you spend the most time on in your business on a daily basis. If it's something that doesn't work towards improving any of these three aspects of your business, then you probably need to reconsider what you're spending all your time doing. I think you might realize that a lot of the things you're doing, because I did myself, mm -hmm. I noticed that a lot of things I was doing was a waste of time. I was yeah. focusing, focusing on things that were not important and they were not helping me grow and make progress. You know, I think if you really think about what you're doing, you ask yourself the question, is this helping me do any of these three things? I think you might notice that you're wasting more time than you think and you're not focusing on the important things. Exa yeah, that's a big thing. Focus on the f important things. I mean, I feel like I'm reiterating what I've already said, but it's to stress the point of what we're trying to say. So that's more or less it, right? Yeah, I mean, we should just wrap it up. I hope we put some good animations throughout the video yeah. to like give you some visuals. Two things that I want to finish on, I want to mm -hmm. finish on. So this is off topic, totally off topic for the video. But actually after we are in Cancun, the next thing we have on our calendar, Los Angeles. Los Angeles on from August 9th to 12th. Yeah. It's for the YouTube Vid Summit conference. Yeah, Cause we're trying to take our YouTube game to the next level. Yeah, so we're gonna be there for that conference. It was expensive. Eight, and 800 bucks each, uh, but there's gonna be a lot of big, big time oh, people yeah. there. We're it's, trying to network, get to know people in the industry. Yeah, cause we're trying to take this shit super serious. So if you live in the LA area, let's fucking meet up then. Yeah. Anyway, but um, my question is, we have Cancun in about two weeks, mm -hmm. and then we have that LA. a month later, mm -hmm. LA a month later. We don't know where to stay in between. We them. have three. We, can't, we, we have, can't stay in Cancun for one month. I mean, we can. Maybe we, can. we will. We have three to four weeks, like that. We don't know where to stay. So we were considering Florida, like staying in the Keys, Dominic, for a bit. Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. In Jamaica for three weeks. We could go back home, but I don't want to. No, That's no, just... yeah. Our parents said, "Oh yeah, you guys can come home in that time." We're like, "No, I really don't want um, to." I decline that offer. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. So, but I'd rather not. Do you have any suggestions? I, about where we could stay. It should be in the uh, North America area, not necessarily America, around Mexico mm -hmm. area. By the way, I, I feel this beer. I feel good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We drink so little that I'm, One halfway, like I'm, three I'm halfway through my beer and I feel it. Woo! Woo! I feel good. Am I fucking annoying? <laughs> Let us know if you like the topic of this video. Or, or was it fucking stupid? Yeah, yeah we'll make more videos like that. And the new setup. This I kind of like this setup on the roof. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, honestly, let's just fucking end the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Psych, I gotcha. The video's not over yet because I gotta do this first. Oops. No, I. No. No. no you fucking I feel it. like a fucking dickhead. Look at the leg. God, leg I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Alright, this video's actually over now. Okay. <laughs>